So, could Simpsons Paradox be misused in the digital age? A famous example of Simpsons Paradox appears in the admissions data for graduate school at UC Berkeley in the fall of 1973. After the admission results were released, several complaints were lodged, claiming that UC Berkeley's programs discriminated against the women. Reason being that males were more likely to be admitted than females, 44% to males and 35% to females. The statistical difference of 9% was so significant that it was unlikely to be due to chance. As a result, UC Berkeley conducted its internal investigation for all 85 individual departments and found that the pooled and corrected data showed men were less likely to be admitted than women in most of the departments, which contrasts with the overall admission figures. Why is this the case? Let's explain Simpson's paradox by using a hypothetical example and numerical figures. There are 100 male students and 100 female students. The university has only two programs, Course P and Course Q. The number of applications and their respective success rate is shown in the table. 47.5% of the male applicants were successfully admitted into Course P, but the figure is higher for females at 70%. Similarly, for Course Q, the success rate of female applicants is 20%, which is twice that of male applicants. Based on the data, it appears that there is a gender bias against male applicants. But if we add up the total numbers, the result is unexpected, as the admission success rate is 40% for male applicants, but only 30% for female applicants. So, why do we get different results from the same set of data? This seemingly counterintuitive possibility can be mathematically proven using the parallelogram law of vector addition. Let the x-axis represent the total number of applications and the y-axis to represent the number of successful applications. For course P, we have a coordinate point. The line from the point of origin to the coordinate point represents the slope, P prime, which is simply the success rate for course P. We apply the same thing to course Q, and we get Q prime. The steeper the slope, the higher is the success rate, and vice versa. We will use the two slopes to construct a parallelogram, one for men and one for women. The slope of the diagonal for the respective parallelogram represents the overall success rate for their gender. Although the two slopes are steeper for females, the diagonal slope of the parallelogram is flatter. Compared to the men, a much higher proportion of the women applied to the low acceptance course queue, 20% for men and 80% for women. So, in truth, women weren't being discriminated against. It just so happened that a larger proportion of women applied to the low acceptance course queue, while a larger proportion of men applied to the high acceptance course P. That skewed the overall results. In this digital age, negative news spread fast and wide. Any misuse of Simpson's paradox is potentially dangerous and could possibly provoke hatred or discrimination. Thus, when it comes to interpreting the data, we must exercise great wisdom and always be wary of any attempt, whether intentional or unintentional, that seeks to destroy the unity and harmony of our society.